All right, what's going on, y'all? Today, I want to give you six med ball variations that you can do to increase your explosive power and reactive strength. Let's do this. All right, so guys, I want to give you six variations that you can utilize with the med ball to increase your punch, press, rotation, and slamming ability explosively with the medicine ball. Now for the males, you wanna take about a 10 to 12 pound med ball. And then for females, you're looking around a six to eight pound med ball. We wanna make sure that it's light enough so that we can increase that velocity, but we also have a heavy enough object so that we can still produce force. So again, with the power output being force times velocity, we wanna make sure that we're increasing that power production and explosive strength with those particular means. Now, the first couple of exercises that we're gonna do is for more punching and pressing movements. Now this can be done for a combat sport athlete, especially striking sports, and then also for football or anything that you're gonna have to press into or punch into an opponent. All right, let's do this. So for the first one that we're gonna do is for pressing and punching. So we're gonna do a shot put throw, which is basically similar to a shot put throw on track and field, but for this one, we're gonna use a med ball. And what we're trying to accomplish here is being able to distribute the weight from the ground up and rotate through um, and again, the ball is gonna go more in an arcing motion. So you're gonna see that arc when you go to throw it on the wall or out to open space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the medicine ball, right, both hands. I'm gonna go ahead and sit it into my shoulder here, keeping my elbows tucked in. From there, I'm gonna do a counter movement, come back, sit into my hip. So I'm counter movement, driving my elbow into my hip. And then from there, I'm gonna press up and arc through so it's here and I go from here I rotate through the oblique sling as you can see my obliques are firing for that rotational component now remember you want your feet about shoulder width apart as I go to sit down I'm pivoting and loading my hip right I load the hip try the elbow in rotate through and then pivot so we're here load pivot all right guys so that was the shot put throw let's go on to the next exercise all right now we're going to move on to the next one again we're going to be working unilateral so one arm at a time and for this one we are going to still do that punching motion but this one is going to be more simulated for a direct punch right so if i were to throw my straight two or my jab again i want to make sure that my elbow is in tight and then i'm just shooting the arm out and extending at the elbow. So with this one, I'm gonna get a slight rotation. I'm still gonna dip down using my obliques, my transverse abdominals. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and throw straight through. And as I go to throw it straight through, I'm actually squeezing my glute med and I'm driving my hip forward, okay? So I'm going into hip extension, hip flexion, hip extension, ball comes out, all right? So we're gonna utilize ground force from the ground up, going out to the outer extremities, and then in utilizing that, that power production going through the entire kinetic chain. Let's do it. Slight rotation and drive through. The other hand is just simply there to maintain that position, right? And hope, you know, obviously hold the ball so it doesn't fall over. We turn through, throw. Rotation, throw through. Now, when you go to throw, you want, Rotation here, and then you wanna go back to neutral. You don't wanna rotate all the way through to here. So again, we want here, boom, straight through. Chest facing to the wall. So now we're gonna move on to a slam variation. Now we're gonna do a slam variation, but I'm also gonna do an overhead throw. And this is kind of similar to the same movement pattern that you're gonna do when you throw your slams. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it forward. So almost like an inbound pass for soccer, right? So as they go to throw it in, we're using the lats, we're using the triceps, and we're actually stepping in a dynamic fashion to, again, produce force from the ground up. So first one we're gonna do is that overhead toss. Dip my hips, arms go over the head. As I step forward, I'm gonna throw the ball through. So I hear, dip my hips, and then stick in position. If you want to switch your legs up, you can. Again, if you're doing, you know, two sets of six or four sets of four, you can switch up your legs every rep. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the slam motion where we're gonna be doing a rotational slam. So you get a rotational component to it. And we're also gonna throw in a little bit of balance and stability because we are gonna split our legs apart. So we're gonna get in that split stance. And what that's going to do is that's going to enhance the coordination, the control, right, through movement, through a dynamic movement. And we're stabilizing the body. I'm also utilizing my adductors and my glutes here to maintain balance. My back foot, right the ball of my foot is going to be dug into the ground my front leg right i'm going to sit into it and i'm going to make sure that i'm grabbing the ground with three points of contact my big toe little toe and heel grabbing the ground and screwing my foot in so that i can maintain that pressure there and torque to control my body when i do that dynamic movement so i'm going to start here i'm going to dip down into position now i'm going to dip down inside so i got rotation of the core trunk into rotation of the far side leg from here, I'm gonna go ahead, rotate all the way up with the ball coming up over my head. I rotate to the other side and slam down, maintaining a, a good position here. So we get into hip extension, hip flexion, internal rotation, hip extension, hip flexion, external rotation on the backside leg. Now the goal here again works for combat sport athletes, also works really well with lacrosse, with any type of contact sport, again because you want to maintain a good level of balance and stability while able to still produce force. So for that I would use these for all those athletes. Again make sure that you're doing around three, five repetitions each side. Again, we could do around three to five uh, sets total. All right, now for this one, you're gonna need a partner because they're gonna have to throw the ball to you and you're gonna have to redirect that force. Again, we're working on that reactive strength, working on the ability to absorb and then redirect. Again, from a change of direction standpoint, it's gonna be really good, especially from a rotational component. And also when you're talking about increasing power from that rotational component, you need to be able to one, stop or eccentrically load and then produce force in the concentric fashion. So we're gonna go ahead and enhance that with the med ball variation right here. All right, so Nick has the ball here. He's gonna throw it to my back hip. I'm gonna absorb and then redirect. So for the next one, we're gonna go ahead and throw in a dynamic component with a back step and with an underhand rotational toss to the wall or to open space. Now this one is gonna require a large amount of coordination and then also balance and control too as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit the ball into my hip. I'm gonna hit a back step, almost like a, a half karaoke step. And then from there, I'm gonna plant my foot and then rotate through the back leg. As I go to rotate through, the hip leads, the arms follow. So it goes hips, trunk, out into the outer extremities into the wall shoulder width position hand right on the hip right from here i'm gonna hit the back step hit the back step i plant rotate through now these i like for more of the rotational sports um, it does work for judo it does also work for combat sports in general um, but I'll definitely utilize it with my baseball players again because you have that rotational component You have that ability to produce force from the ground up And then again, you have that dynamic component too as well really good for coordination and overall Athleticism, okay, so those are my six make sure you take them with you Let me know if you like this hit the comments down below make sure you subscribe make sure the notification. I'll see you again next time. Peace